Welcome back guys. Today we will be continuing simple harmonic motion. So today we will be learning about composition of simple harmonic motion. So our case one is composition of two collinear simple harmonic motion of the same frequency of same frequency but different amplitude but different in amplitude and phase so this is our condition so now we'll start so we need to consider two simple collinear simple harmonic motion so first will be x1 we consider it as x1 equals to a sine of omega t and our second equation will be x2 that is b sine omega t plus del del is a phase difference x2 b is the amplitude a is the amplitude of now we know that from the principle of superposition the resultant displacement will be given as x that will be x1 plus x2 now we need to expand it so this will be a sine of omega t now we'll apply the sign formula this will be b times so let me first write it then I will apply the sign formula so this will be a sine omega t plus b sine of omega t cos of del plus b cos of omega t sine of del now we'll arrange the terms this will be a plus b cos of del this will be sine omega t plus this will be b sine of del cos of omega t now we need to uh, assume it we need to assume that a cos of phi will be equals to a plus b cos of delta and b sine delta will be equals to a sine of phi so now putting these values here we will get an equation a sine of omega t plus phi this is our generalized term now this is the equation combined equation so now we need to find the value of a a will be given as if we square both both the equation and add them we get a square cos square phi plus b a square sine square phi and cos square sine cos square phi plus sine square phi that will be equals to 1 this will be a square this will be a plus b cos of delta whole square plus b sine of delta whole square now simplifying this we get a a square plus b square cos of delta plus 2ab cos delta plus b sine of delta now just arranging it we get a equals to root under a square plus b square plus 2ab cos of delta this is our equation or expression for calculating the amplitude of the resultant wave so and to find out the direction we will just use this we know that tan of phi if we divide both the equations we get tan of phi this will be equals to b of sine of delta upon a plus b cos delta so this was our first part now we will see some special cases in this case so let us let me write it so special cases so number one we have let's write a when when the del will be equals to zero we know cos zero is one and this will turn out to be a plus b whole square so a will be a plus b and phi will turn out to be zero therefore our equation will be x equals to a sine of omega t or we can write it as x equals to a plus b sine of omega t so now let me write the second condition so let's consider it if del is equals to pi we get this will be minus minus 2ab and that will be a minus b whole square it will be a minus b whole square and a will be a minus b phi will be 0 therefore we can write x equals to 
a minus p sine of omega t this is our second equation and number three we number third case we have if del is equals to pi by two here we get that this will be cos pi by two is zero and this will be a square plus b square root under so this will be root under a square plus b square and phi will be this will be zero this will be tan inverse of b by a now therefore our equation will be x equals to root under a square plus b square sine of omega t plus phi so these are the special cases for this case now we'll consider case 2 case 2 that will be composition of two simple harmonic motion of equal time period but different amplitude and phase but different amplitude and phases and both act at right angles acting at right angles to each other here we will consider x will be equals to suppose displacement is given by x equals to a sine omega t and our second equation will be y equals to b sine omega t plus del ta where omega we, we know that is 2 pi n n is the frequency so we can convert this x by a equals to sine omega t and this will be y by b this will be sine of omega t plus del so now this we have converted this so now we'll express this equation as a term of this so let me write it so now we know that we have written y by b is equals to sine omega t sine omega t plus del now we'll expand that this will be sine omega t cos uh, cos del plus cos omega t sine of delta so this is y by b sine omega t that is given by we know that this is x by a so we'll replace it so this will be x by a cos delta this will be and we know that sine omega t is x by a so root under 1 minus cos square omega t will be 1 minus x square by a square so this will be so I am writing it as plus minus so it, this will be appropriate 1 x minus whole square sine of delta now bringing this to this side we get y by b minus x by a cos of delta and equals to plus minus root under 1 minus x square by a square sine of delta now squaring on both sides to eliminate the root so we get uh, y by y square by b square plus x square by a square cos square delta minus 2xy ab upon uh, a cos delta and this will be equals to uh, this will now the root will get eliminated this will be 1 minus x square by a square sine square delta so now we'll just arrange the terms x square by a square cos square delta plus y square by b square minus 2xy ab cos delta this will be sine square delta plus x square by a square sine square delta this term will when it will come here it's cos square plus oh sorry this will be minus this will come here cos square plus sine square delta this will be one so our equation turns out to be final equation x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2xy upon ab cos of delta that will be equals to sine square delta so this is our final equation so now here there are again some special cases for this so special cases so at number one we have so when the value of del will be equals to zero 
then we can say that sin 0 is 0 and cos delta is 1. So we'll write sin delta is equals to 1 and cos delta will be equals to this will be 0 and this will be 1. So this will be 0, this will be 1 and our equation will turn out to be x by a minus y by b whole square equals to 0 and x by a equals to y by b now I'll just express this y is equals to b by a x so as you can enter this is the equation of a straight line passing through origin and the graph of this will be something like this suppose this is our this is x this is y and this will be something like this it is passing through the origin and making some angle theta or something like that this is for the first case case 2 we have this will be when delta is equals to pi so sine pi is 0 and cos pi is minus 1 and the equation will turn out to be x minus a plus y by b whole square this will be y is equals to minus of b by a x so this is our second case and the graph will look something like this suppose this is our coordinate axis x y now this will have a negative slope so theta here now our case 3 this will be when del is equals to pi by 2 sine del will be 1 and cos del will be 0 so this will be 1 this will be 0 so this will turn out to be an equation of an ellipse so the equation will look something like this x by x square by a square plus y square by b square is equals to 1 so the it will look something like this x y this is ellipse there is a special case for this when here when if a will be equals to b for this case we get the equation as x square plus y square equals to a square now here it will be a circle so I'm drawing this it will be a circle of radius a the circle this is ellipse is to our straight line so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you